All right, so I went ahead and angled in the gantry and set them on top of these. I had some uh, Polymaker filament boxes. Uh, these are the smaller 250 gram size, so they, they seem to be pretty ideal for this. I didn't have long zip ties, so I just went ahead and did that. Um, next up, we're going to be installing the uh, pieces that go on top of the Z carriages, and there's four of them. And to install these, you're going to need the M3x20s socket head screws, and you're going to need these pieces here. And you also need these M5x40s that go through the bottom of the part and screw into the top of the Z-blocks that we just installed. Okay, I'm going to start off on this corner. When you install this part, make sure the recess part is on the bottom. You're going to need your four M3s. I make that one in pretty good. Make sure you slug them down nice and tight. Not so tight that they restrict the movement of the rails. The rail carriages. Now that I've got that done, I'm going to secure the M5 by 40. And it should draw right up in. Just make sure you're turning your driver the right way. And then just repeat for all four blocks. All right, now I've got them all installed. You can kind of see where they're at and how I installed each one. There's the one on that corner, and there's here. And then you can see that one and that one. Something that I'm gonna be adding to mine are these titanium backers. And this helps keep the gantry from flexing around. Um, if you're gonna be installing these, make sure you orient them properly. So you can see the Voron logos where I've got them. And then you're gonna have these little parts here for the uh, wiring harness um, cable chains to insert into. And just to clarify too, this titanium backer will be going behind um, the rail. Actually all of them will be, so the rails here are in the bottom. Okay, and in order to install these, you're going to need these uh, M3 T-nuts and you're going to need a buttload of them. I know maybe about 29 or 30 because you, you do want these in every screw. Um, that's going to help uh, make sure it stays down and keeps that aluminum from warping. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, preload those now. Okay, so I've gone ahead and just laid this here. And while I laid it here, I lined up all the T-nuts in the back. And I'm going to slide this down and just tighten it up with some M3 screws. Okay, in order to install these, you're going to need some titanium screws. The 22 titanium screws of the M38 variety are going to be used on the side rails, the Y. And then the 10 of the M3x6 are going to be used on the X. And the reason for that is because the X uh, backer is a little bit thinner. So you don't need the M3x8 screws for that one. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and install these. Before you do this, make sure you have this the recess side where the flathead screw can sit flush. Okay. Go ahead and put that one in, and then the rest should be pretty easy to do. All right, I went ahead and got mine all fastened in, and I also made sure it was pretty much equal in terms of the spacing, so I'm gonna go ahead and just tighten these down. And the, the titanium backers for these are the same way. We're gonna put our um, M3 T-nuts in the slots here. And then make sure that you've got this piece kind of oriented in the back where the small holes are. This side doesn't have any. And then also make sure that you've got your recess on the correct part. So I'm going to set those aside and I'm going to go ahead and load these with uh, the M3 T-nuts. And here's a good way just to prepare the T-nuts is to line this up and then to drop them in and line them up to each hole as you go. Okay, I've got all those lined up and I skewered them a little bit just to make sure the holes were good. Be careful when you're doing that because you don't want to scratch this up. It's easy to scratch. And you're going to need three of the M3 by 8 uh, flathead screws, which are titanium for this piece. Okay, and as you can see, I've got all the screws secured. And now I'm just going to repeat on this right hand side. And as you see here, I've now got this one installed. So now we have all of the backers installed and we're good to go. Now before we run the belts, we're gonna to need to loosen up 
the screws on these guys here on all four corners. And then we're also gonna need to loosen these idlers. I went ahead and already did the idlers. I just backed the screw out and then I tightened it with four turns to the right, as it said, and I did that for all four idlers in each of the corners. So I'm just gonna go ahead and loosen these up. Okay, now I'm doing the Z-belt. I've already got one installed. I'm gonna go ahead and try to do this one in the left corner. So make sure your belt stays um, nice and straight. You don't wanna get it twisted. And then go ahead and drop it down here through the Z-drive. There's a little motor pulley. You want to go through that hole and then just pull it all the way through. Being careful not to tangle it. When you're riding the Z, make sure that you are getting right on the motor the pulley because there is like a screw or something that's kind of sticking out here it's easy to hit make sure that you're aligned um, kind of hard to see with the camera but make sure that you're aligned around the pulley there otherwise uh, you're not going to be right and once you pull things through the bottom here you're going to come up this little channel on this piece and then you're going to come through this top idler it's really only one way to go and you're going to come down and this piece will have to come off just so you can run the belt under it okay so i've got that piece off i'm just going to come back and put it back on make sure that you orient it where the belt can come out with this little gap here after installing the first two this is generally what it should look like you can see the belts are nice and parallel um, double check that you can turn the motor a little bit you should hear it kind of moving and obviously double check that you're on the motor track so you want to do that before you um, finish up and make sure these are nice and aligned there's no rubbing um, it should be flowing through pretty nice and tight you can see i now have the rear belts installed they're looking pretty good they're pretty much the same way as installing the front ones one of the last things you're going to need to do on the z-axis is just go ahead and um, put these zip ties on and I'm gonna probably trim some of that excess belt. I got quite a bit more than than I thought I would have So go ahead and put your zip tie around it So just kind of loop it through like that and then just tighten it up All right now that the belts are secured we should be able to remove these without losing any uh, Z height, which we can all right now I'm gonna slide my X gantry all the way to the back and you notice how it kind of just moves around. It's going to do that until the belts are on there. But they want you to go ahead and tighten all the screws. So the bottom, from the bottom and the top, make sure you tighten them all. And before you do this step, it's a good idea to make sure that you're not racked. Um, mine, mine look really good. There's equal gaps on both sides. That's what you want to see. Now, if you have a big gap or you can't push all the way to the corner on one of these, or all the way to the side that means you probably have some you might even have some uh, frame issues where you want to make sure that you know your frame is nice and square and when you're tightening up these screws make sure that you're applying a little bit of pressure in the middle just to keep things squared up and then definitely um, check all these screws underneath as well on the bottom of these double check that you have all your screws in you're not going to need all four on this one. You only need the front two. On this one, though, you should have four in. 